What is going on, guys? This is Artie bringing you a very special episode. This is going to be a little mod showcase of the Ars Magica 2 mod. Now, uh, this is a, basically a good mod for you if you're into casting spells and things like that. Uh, what it basically is, is uh, Mytheon, the guy that created it, made it in the intentions of uh, having a Minecraft world. They can have a, a bit of magic into it. Uh, now, the mod is focused around casting powerful spells, fighting bosses, and having fun with magic overall. Uh, it also features some unique spell creations uh, that you can customize to your liking. And uh, this is just going to be a brief little tutorial over some of the things of the actual mod that's inside of it. Uh, now, this is a pretty awesome mod. Uh, got a different ores here. This is all the ores that you can find throughout the world. Uh, we got some uh, Chimerite ore, which is pretty cool. It changes colors, as you can see. Um, this is actually block form, so after you mine it, this is what it looks like. And you craft it in like a 9, or was it, no, a 3x3 three three crafting grid. And basically, this is what you get. It's like a diamond block, iron block, things like that. Next, we're going to go over and look at the blue topaz ore. Now, this is pretty cool, too. And this is all normal textures throw off the blocks itself so you can do some pretty cool designs with these blocks alone just in your minecraft world this is not uh, any sort of texture pack or resource pack or anything like that but uh... let's go ahead and head over to the moonstone ore uh... this is also a pretty sweet looking block and uh, this is actually the thing that you get from it uh... we're gonna look over here at the sunstone ore uh, another pretty awesome block, like I said. A little, nice little orange tint to it and little swirls in it. Uh, this is actually what you get from the block itself. And when you mine this, uh, you get a, something different. You get a, the actual ore. And in order to get the finished product, all you have to do is just throw it in the furnace. So yeah, I just threw some in there and this is what I got. Some Vintium dust. So that's also something that's, uh, important that you need to. Uh, hold on one second. Go ahead and throw it on short just for the lulls. All right, so I set up this little area here just to show you a brief overview of all the stuff that's in it. Uh, this is a actually mage armor. So this is like if you want to go all look look like a Assassin's Creed. Uh, I actually have the uh, the battle mage leggings. So I'm assuming this would be more for battling uh, monsters, things like that. Uh, another thing we want to look at is the first thing you really want to do when, before you get started, before you look at all this other stuff. Uh, you want to find these essence pools. Uh, these essence pools randomly generate throughout the world, and you just have to find him and put two blocks next to it, like I did. It's just stick an item frame there, and this is basically how you get your, uh, your book. It's basically like a built-in wiki of all the things that you need to do, all the th guides you need to know how to do them, things like that. So let's go ahead and put that in there. You'll get all these really cool particle effects going on right here. And let's just let it, uh, let's go see and see what it does. So this is actually what you need to do to get your uh, book that's custom to yourself. So after it's done, all you need to do is just knock it off the frame. We can just, uh, just throw, probably throw the frame back there. And this is called uh, Arcane Compendium. Now, this is very cool. Uh, I was already looking at it before, so it saved what I was looking at. But you have uh, a whole bunch of different guides. This is basically what his uh, uh, letter to everyone was, uh, saying that he's uh, developed different softwares professionally for 11 years. And keep in mind, this guy's only like, I think he's only like 24. He's around my age. So this guy has been long involved into mods and uh, softwares and things like that. Uh, let's see, go ahead and see. It has uh, different mechanics, things like that. Uh, it just explains about the different things. You might have noticed we got these uh, got these things right here. Oops. Well, <laughs> it got these things on the bottom left of the screen. Uh, that's called a burnout, I believe. Uh, you can also think of it as a cooldown type deal. So you can't s constantly sit there and keep spamming uh, spells at people. Uh, the one to your right, that's going to be your mana. That's going to be your basic power to use the spells. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at some more things. Uh, we have some en different enchantments. Uh, 
protection against magic damage, things like that. So it adds a number of different things. These are just some basic irons or uh, items that it actually adds to the game. You got some ores right here, like we went over with. The uh, battle mage armor, the crystal wrench, all these things. It's basically uh, it's easier just to show it like this. This is any eye, in case you're wondering. This is just uh, a quick little tip. If you're looking for a certain mod in any eye, all you have to do is just do at mod dot in the name of the mod. So it's really easy. Helps out a lot. And just go through all the list of all the different things that this game adds. It's just an insane amount of pages. Of four pages for one mod. That's freaking crazy. And I got all these different bosses and mobs that we're going to get ready to show after we show all the other things. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at over here. We got some different th blocks that we're going to go over. We got some uh, ass assistance, yeah. <laughs> uh, essence conduit, uh, calefactor, illusion block. This thing is actually pretty cool. Uh, if you place it in the bowl, let's go ahead and make it there real quick. Hold on. Okay, if you place it inside of a block kind of like this, uh, you go ahead and place it right there. It would actually look like the grass block. See, it's right here. As I see the tool tips show. Uh, right there it says illusion block, illusion block, grass block. So I actually have an illusion block right here, but it actually looks like a grass block. So that's pretty cool. Uh, got a couple other different things right here. A uh, number of different things. Uh, lectern, put your book on. Uh, this is actually pretty cool too. This is called... Uh, particle emitter and this is what it looks like before you can go actually in a GUI and you actually look at all the different type of things so if we want to change the different type of particles that we want from it it's pretty cool actually floating sinking random colors and this is where I hid the border so you can hide the border and you can make like a different types of things around it and just make it like a decorative box. Go ahead and look at some other things. This is actually where all the magic happens besides this. Uh, Oculus, you find out your different skill points, things like that. You could spend them on. Uh, just go over here. You can different buy, use your skill points that you earn from fighting and spell casting. And just get different types of things unlocked. Then you can come over here to the scripting table. And you can make your spell that you want. So you can just do that, put your book there, name it wherever you want, and then you press the little uh, book key right there. Uh, this is very intensive mod. Uh, if you actually are looking for any help with it, I'm going to be doing a little series type deal uh, a little bit later on. Um, this is actually on the Donkey Pack mod pack. So, I mean, there's if you want to use this mod, this has a whole bunch of other mods with it inside of the donkey pack so you don't have to do anything you just have to install it and you can play it now this is pretty cool these are uh, I believe they're called gateways go ahead and look at yes it's called a gateway it's kind of like a teleporter so it's kind of like uh, a portal you can build this any other direction you want you can build it way over there if you want way over there and it actually would bring you into it you just have to jump into it and it would bring you out the other side so that's pretty cool too uh, this is called the Nexus. This is actually the Dark Nexus. Uh, what it does is it helps um, make power for this huge thing. Um, I have a pig spawner over here just so you can see what it does. Uh, the Dark Nexus actually brings in mods, or not mods. <laughs> uh, it brings in mobs, um, like vanilla mobs, things like that. It'll bring them into the center of it, and it'll actually kill them in order to get uh, the power from them. So that's pretty cool too. Um, go ahead and look at the book. You can see a whole bunch of different structures, things like that. And there's different kinds of nexuses. There's three kinds. There's an essence one. There's a light one. And then there's this dark one. So it's a sinister construction. The dark nexus slowly but invariably uh, pulls living creatures from around it inward towards its center. Upon reaching the middle, the souls of the damned emerge from the nexus and tear life force out of the creature. So that's pretty cool. Uh, the thing we're uh, just right behind us, this is called the crafting altar. 
Now this is a different, this is a multi-block basically. Um, all you have to do, you have to go over here, crafting altar, and this thing, like I said before, this is like the built-in wiki. This thing is awesome. It'll show you everything you need to know. Uh, it shows you different types of different um, altars you can actually build. So we can just go ahead and cycle through different types just by clicking the cycle. And if you want to build this uh, certain thing, you just look at all these little things. It actually highlights them and tells you exactly what it is so you need to build. So you, if you want to look at, you know, what's this? Oh, this is a magic wall. So you can go into your NEI and then you can, well, this NEI is a different mod. But um, you can actually look at the rest recipes like this. All you need is some stone, some Vintium dust, and you get 16 uh, magic walls. So this is really cool too. All you have to do if you want to know how to build it, you just click this little thing right here. This is the first layer. This is going to be the bottom layer you're going to do. And then it shows you each layer as you go up of what you need to do to build it. Oh, that's pretty cool too. Let's go ahead and jump over here. These are different uh, inlets you use for summoning. This is a monster summoning, boss summoning. Go ahead and go over here. Ah, uh, seems like they disappeared. Uh, I knew that was going to happen. So what I did was I, uh, I saved the checkpoint. Let's go ahead and load this real quick. I knew this was going to happen. They some sometimes disappear just for, I don't know, I guess they troll you or what. Let's go ahead and go over here. That's not what we want to look at. Go ahead and toss that over there. All right, so here's all the mobs. Uh, these are mostly, some of them are hostile, some of them aren't. Let's go ahead and just ignore the mooing. That's uh, that's something else inside. Um, there was a couple mods, or there was, there was one mob that didn't like the uh, didn't like the sunlight, so I had to put them inside the house. Uh, this is a uh, dark mage. This guy's pretty cool. This guy actually doesn't like this guy at all. So if you put them next to each other, they'll fight it out to the death. But I believe he is hostile. Let's go ahead and check it out. Yeah, he doesn't like me. I don't know. I don't know what it is about me, but he does not like me. See, he does. He's shaking his head. He does not like me. Oh, uh, we got a little bit of lag going on here, but that's nothing to worry about. We got the uh, mana element. Oh, this guy. He spawns out in the world. Um, I've seen him in many places in the overworld and every every time uh, I think I did see him sometimes in another I'm not sure uh, let's go ahead and take a look at him he does not like me either he's pretty hostile he'll start shooting things at me does not like me one bit uh, this is the mana creeper this guy you have to watch out too, uh, for too I believe he sucks in all your mana uh, so if you do that he does not like me I'm not going to let him blow up uh, actually I let him blow up after Go ahead and look at the light mange. I don't see if he. I don't think he's hostile towards me. He he likes me. He's uh he just doesn't like that guy. See, just uh, can I have a number one and uh, no fries? <laughs> uh, this guy, this girl actually, is actually a really good looking mod. Uh, we have uh different guys on the server actually. Um, found a whole bunch of them. He was like, man, I'm just sitting here on an island full of chicks. I'm good. Uh, these guys are, uh, I believe you kill them, uh, and it spun, spawns the uh, nature uh, guardian, which he's a pain in the butt. I'll get to him later. Uh, this is a mage villager. He's non-hostile, too. He uh, he does different trades. Whoa, getting a little bit of lag there. Let's, uh, I believe it's from this. Let's go ahead and make this daytime. I think I have something, I have a video uploading or something. Uh, go ahead and look at this guy. He's the water element. Uh, this guy's pretty cool too. He does not like me either. I believe not. Uh, I think he has to touch you. Uh, that sucks for you. Uh, this guy is an earth element. These are different elements you can kill. Uh, don't think he would, he probably would hurt me. Uh, he's just tripping out. Uh, this guy is a fire elemental. There's another mob. Uh, sure, he doesn't like me either. Uh, no, he doesn't. All right, so go ahead and we'll look at the here in the uh, villager house. <laughs> this is a hell cow. Uh, this is a pretty cool mod. Uh, mob. <laughs> he does not like me, as you can see. He's just a uh, pitchfork. He has a pretty high uh, 
health too, so he's pretty pretty intimidating to mess with. We got the Hectic, which he goes invisible. I believe he is in another, or no, he spawns in the overworld too. Uh, this guy, old guy, I think he spawns in another. He's a cool little mob. He does not like people either, though. He'll just sit there and try to attack you and nibble at your feet like a little chihuahua. So let's go ahead and look at this. Um, so we, we made the book that we needed. And this is just a, a basic spell. And this is just so I can show you how it looks. Uh, I just made like a little basic spell. It doesn't really do anything. But the animation is pretty sweet. Just have a little ball of energy there. Uh, this is actually a spell book. And you shift right click. And you can throw it in there. So you can have all your spells in one little book. And you can just scroll with the little wheel. Shift and scroll with the wheel of your mouse and you can select the different ones and use them so that's pretty cool too uh, now we're gonna look into the bosses the bosses are pretty sweet uh, I've g went ahead and killed them just to see which one drops that guy has been giving me a big amount of trouble uh, he did not want to stay in his box there he kept teleporting through or going through it uh, this guy's the arcane guardian so let's go ahead and take a look cheat our way in a book go over here to the bosses and you can see a different uh, thing uh, like a different backstory you twirl them around you can just this is actually pretty cool uh, and um, if you have any sort of texture pack or anything like that that has these uh, animals in it uh, it will actually do it in real time it'll show you the actual texture um, just look through the different uh, guardians here uh, this guy is the nature guardian. He, this guy is a boss. He has 500 health. I think that's, I think that's a little bit more than the ender, ender dragon actually has. So, uh, well, let's go back to this guy real quick. He, this guy only he, he drops the infinity orbs and the arcane essence when you kill him. So that's what I went ahead and killed him, and that's what it sh dropped. Getting a major lag issue. It's probably because I have all these bosses in one spot. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this. Uh, once you kill this guy, with the pain in the butt that he is, I think sometimes he drops this, which is pretty cool. We'll go ahead and take a look at that in a minute. Uh, but you can also take a look. He drops orbs. So most of these guys, they drop orbs, as you can see, and some essence. This guy's the Earth Guardian. He drops essence. Water Guardian. He drops infinity orbs and essence. Uh, this guy, these do not like this recording. Video settings, let's go ahead and drop it down. Oh, there we go. That should be better. It was something fancy. Uh, Winter Guardian, this guy is pretty good looking, actually, if you look at him. Let's go ahead and take a look at what he drops. He drops some infinity orbs and some ice essences. Uh, this guy is the Fire gar Guardian. So, uh, he drops some uh, orbs, too. And that guy is the Air Guardian. He drops some different types of orbs, too. Let's go ahead and take a look over here, though. Um, this thing is actually pretty sick. It actually looks pretty sick when you're holding it. And also, if you're going for that montage shot, you're going for that uh, quad, all you have to do is just line them up, and it actually goes through all the mod, all the mobs, and it actually kills them. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. Uh, I think I grabbed one. Yeah, that's the right one. There you go. Uh, that's a triple kill, but it's pretty cool. It uh, goes out and kills all the mobs, kills uh, hostiles, kills friendlies, and it also see that's one of the guys I got loose. Pain in my butt. Um, it also helps with uh, trees. So let's go ahead and say you want some trees cut. Just toss it like so. There you go. And then for all your people that have the build craft, we actually have a whole bunch of mods in this donkey pack. Uh, you always, you know, you want to cut the sides of the rubber trees just to see, uh, just to see where the rubber is, and boom, voila! <laughs> it's as simple as that. All you got to do is that, and you can you get access to all your rubber, and big help on that. Also does it for uh, I found out it does it for wheat and stuff like that. So it's pretty cool. Watch this. There you go. Extreme farming right there. Extreme farming. Um, it's about uh, all I could say about this. This awesome mod, you get different spells, the amount of spells and the actual things that you can make with them are. See all these freaking mobs disappeared again.
being trolls. Uh, the amount of spells and different things you can actually make are insane. Uh, this is actually... Or uh, really actually awesome beat mod. some other magic mods that I'm not going to name. Because I'm pretty sure that would uh, that would not be nice. Um, go ahead and look at this is my uh, crafting altar. Uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, if you want to get started, all you have to do is... Uh, once you make the mod... Or the... Not the mod. <laughs> once you make the actual uh, spell in your scripting table I believe it is just throw that in and it'll have this nice little animation and it'll tell you what you need next so uh, I I would imagine probably try to keep a, a chest around here or keep a chest close by so you can actually get all the different uh, things it needs just go ahead and right click on the lectern and you can actually see the different materials that it actually needs so that's pretty helpful too but as of right now it does look like our time is up if you enjoyed the video Please leave a like down below, comment down below whatever you were thinking, and uh, if you guys wanted to check out the donkey pack, I will definitely have all the links in the description for that. I will have the link to the Minecraft form for the mod in the description also, and I'll have a couple other different treats in the description if you're interested. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and have a good day. Peace.